Hi there! I'm here today to talk to you about the two different methods of despooling magnet wire. Now, when you get a spool of magnet wire, uh, it's going to come with one end fastened onto the spool through the little hole. Um, and when you, when you take that out to go ahead and wind it onto your project, you're going to want to maintain tension on the wire so that the, uh, the wire doesn't start despooling all by itself. Um, once you're ready to despool the wire and you have the wire hooked onto whatever you're going to spool onto, uh, there's two different ways to deal with your supply spool, and they're going to affect how the wire comes off. In end despooling, the spool itself actually holds still, and the wire sort of spirals off of the edge. The advantages to this are that there isn't really much of a chance of the wire water falling off or um, the coil unwinding due to inertial force of the coil when it's spinning because when you're pulling wire off really fast there, um, if, the, if the spool's staying still, there's no way for it to sort of bundle up down here. The other method that can be used is the rotational style, and this is where you would support your spool on uh, some sort of axle, perhaps a pipe or a, or a bolt or something along these lines. And when you despool off of it, the spool actually will spin. This can work well because it doesn't put any sort of kinks or spirals into the wire, but the problem that you can run into is when you're winding, you can develop some inertia on this spool, and when you stop, this spool will continue spinning, and you get what's called the waterfall effect, which is where your wire kind of bundles up down here. And with the finer wires, this can become a huge problem because the wire can cross over itself, and then when you go and you are winding your next coil or continuing your wind, um, the tangle that that ends up in here, you can actually end up uh, damaging your insulation or possibly even breaking the wire due to the tension that's now um, in this rat's nest that formed down here. Uh, the way to avoid that with rotational spooling is to put some sort of a friction break onto the spool um, that will so the so that the uh, so the wire is despooling under tension essentially. So there's something holding on to the spool. Um, as it goes, like that, and it maintains tension on the wire, and then when you were to stop winding, there's no way for the spool to continue turning. Please visit our website at www.temcoindustrialpower.com, or you can click the link below to visit. And if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call at area code 510-403-4061, and we'll be ha happy to answer any questions you might have.